Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Royal Sports Talk. This is going to be another NFL edition, and there has been breaking news going across the NFL that Jamal Adams actually got his wish, and the New York Jets traded him to one of the teams on his wish list, the Seattle Seahawks, and they gave up two first-round picks to get Adams from the Jets. Now, when I saw this deal, I was kind of shaking my head a little bit because... Generally, you don't see non-quarterbacks get traded for two first-round picks, and generally you don't see defensive players get traded for two first-round picks. I think that it's great for the Seahawks, but I don't know if Jamal Adams was the missing piece to that defense where all of a sudden you plug him in, and now the Seahawks are winning the Super Bowl. Granted, the Seahawks have Super Bowl talent to begin with, but... I think Russell Wilson needs receivers and some offensive line help. I don't know how much Jamal Adams is actually going to help. I'm happy for Jamal Adams that he got out of New York. He didn't want to be there anymore. Obviously, they didn't want him there anymore because they traded him. Now, for the Jets, you guys get two first-round picks, but the Seahawks are going to be good. So unless you guys figure out actually how to draft, these two first round picks for you guys are going to be nothing because they're going to be towards the higher end of the first round. If they turn around and decide to leverage the two picks together to trade up to get somebody better, more power to them. But these two picks are in two different drafts. Not that that ever stops people from trading future draft picks. I'm happy for Jamal Adams that he got out. Now we'll get to see if the Seahawks actually extend him and if so, what they pay him. Because in recent history, the Seahawks haven't paid their defensive players. They've let them walk in free agency. So obviously by them trading for him and giving up two first-round picks, they're going to offer him some kind of contract. But who knows if he's going to take it. Let me know what you guys think of the Seattle Seahawks trading for Jamal Adams. Do you think it was a smart move for the Seahawks to acquire him? Who do you think won the trade? Personally, I think that in the long run, the Jets are going to end up winning this trade because I don't think Jamal Adams is going to be the thing that takes the Seahawks to the next level. Follow me on Instagram at Raw Sports Talk. Follow me on Twitter at Raw Sports Talk 1. And as always, like and subscribe to my channel. Hit me in the comments below. Let me know whatever you think about this. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. I'm out. Ooh, baby, I like it, bro. Yeah, baby, I like it, bro.